Hey y'all, Lunchbox here. Sorry about the lighting, um, I need to get a new ring light, and I didn't realize how much I needed that ring light to make these videos, like, look good. So sorry for the archaic style of lighting. Uh, only for today, I promise. With that being said, welcome to This Week in Y Shores, where we talk about Y Shores news and cards of the day, and before we get started, yes, I did attend a D4 DJ fan meetup with Risa Sumugi. I could finally die happy. So with that out of the way, let's go with the Japanese cards. First, we're going to go a little backwards. We're going to start off with the Japanese cards, then moving over to the English news. Because we have effects for a set that I was excited about, but now I'm intrigued. Of course, we're talking about Marvel Comics. I have gone over the set information before, but super quick, this is out on Christmas Eve. There are a total of 100 cards and 65 parallel rares. There are no signed cards in the set. There are hot stamps, and those are what we're going to be talking about today. Also, here's the booster box design of the set. In the past, we have talked about the card art, and I hope you kept those in mind because this is really, really low quality card art. Like, super, super low quality. Why? Because these are screen grabs from a Y Shorts live stream. So yeah, it's not the best. Again, I have talked about this art in the past and like how they look like, but now it's time to cover the other half of Y Shorts, the card effects. Super quick, the set trait is Marvel, but is also the only trait according to these cards. The AVGR rarity has the Avengers logo stamped on the card. We are going to cover those first. Celebrity Hero Iron Man states that if you have another Marvel character, this card gains the following ability. During your turn, this card gains 3k power, and when your other character is front attack, you could pay one, send this to the memory, bounce that character back to your hand. And Climax Combo. On attack, if you have Super Sonic Speed Flight Iron Man in play and two or more other characters, top check three, add a card, ditch the rest. The Climax is a 1k1 and a door when triggered. Holy crap, that is super nice. On attack, you have two or more other characters is the condition. Super easy, no real downside there. And you top check three, add a card, whatever you need, just it doesn't matter. That is super solid, and the bouncing effect is actually really, really good. Like, I played against a Grisaia player once, and I hated this effect. Compression, you save a card, you gain hand advantage, and hey, who knows, maybe you need Iron Man's in your memory to do stuff later in the set. This is really good. Top Archer Hawkeye states that when you play this card from your hand, this gains 1k power for the turn and climax combo. On attack, if you have Master of Bow, Hawkeye, and two or more other characters, top check your deck. If it is a Marvel character, add it to your hand. Then you choose an opponent's cost zero or lower character, you send it to the waiting room. Living Legend Captain America is an on play heal and climax combo. When you play Legendary Soldier Captain America, if this is in your front row and you have four or more other characters during your turn, all your other characters gain on attack, pay one, burn one. The climax is a 1k1 and an arch one triggered. That is pretty decent, not the biggest finisher in the world, but you are able to give effectively everything on the field on attack, pay one, burn one if you have two of these. Because you can't give it to itself, but if you have another copy of itself, you are good to go. Honestly, this effect is a little dated, but it still works. We are now leaving the AVGR cards to go to the MR cards. So we still have three AVGR cards left in the booster set, but we haven't gotten those yet. We are now gonna go over to the MR cards. These are the character logos hot stamped. We're gonna start off with Hero of Fortitude Captain Marvel. I can already hear geeks and gamers foaming at the mouth at the mere sight of this card. Four or more character early drop, stock heal, and once per turn when you use Act, this gains 500 power depending on how many characters you have until the end of the turn. Yeah, it's pretty standard, super easy to get out, no, no real complaints here honestly. So the last effect, that is any Act. You are using Brainstormers during your turn to give this power, then you're using Backups during your opponent's turn to get this an extra power boost as well. With the full field of these, which is what you're using to call it out early, 11k power. And during your opponent's turn, 11k power plus if you're gonna be using a backup on this, what plus whatever power it gains from that. Probably a 2k. Solid card, honestly. Solid, solid card. Most ominous final boss Thanos is on play, pay one, stock swap, and on attack, pay three, ditch two, burn four. Holy shit, that is such a Thanos ability and I'm for it. Run one or two of these for sure, this is super solid. You're going to be running it because of the stock swap, but hey, burn four? I've seen games lose at burn five, so it happens. It honestly happens. Born on Earth, grew up in the galaxy, Chris Pratt states that twice per turn, when another character comes into play, this gains 1k power and he is a clean cut. What is up lately with all the clean cuts getting guarantee reverses? 
I'm for it though. This is super cool. Most dangerous woman in the galaxy, Gamora, is on play from hand. Top check your deck equal to the amount of characters you control. Add a card, then you ditch the rest. And on attack, you can pay one, ditch one. This card gains 2k power and on reverse, burn one. Yes, you can run this, which is objectively better than the Thanos as a secondary level 3. But, come on, Thanos snaps and then he stock swaps. Run the Gamora. Yeah, the Gamora is better. <laughs> Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, holy shit, that is his name and I love it, states that if you have 5 or more cards in hand, this gains 1k5 power and is an anti-runner. And at the start of your opponent's attack phase, you could run this to the center slot of your front row. Meh, that's good. A little boring, but I do like the anti runner because he's like, get, get, like getting caught in his web. No, I don't know what this means. <laughs> Sorcerer Supreme Ben to Dick Cucumber is on play from hand. Top check two and rearrange them in any order. And on play from hand, if you have two or more other characters, top check eight. Return them to your deck and shuffle. If all eight cards revealed were climaxes, you win the game. Run four. All right, so the rearrange two, that is great. You know what you're gonna be working with during your turn, but the top tick eight can also be used as a just in case to know what your deck has in it. You're not topping eight climaxes, unless you cheat. And we don't cheat in Y Shores because only Digimon players cheat. Shout out to Table Salt Games who has the best Digimon locals in all of Southern California. And there's absolutely no cheaters there. Good save me. It's a really good save, Lunchbox. You did it. Powerful supernatural power, Scarlet Witch, states that your other character in the center stage gains 1k power and she has act. Ditch 2, breast this card. Top check 6. Mill 3 and add the rest back to your deck in any order. Why though? Like the cucumber that I previously just talked about, you're gonna be in control of what you're working with. But specifically, this is good for triggering. This is really, really good for triggering. A pro tip is that you wanna keep your stock as clean as possible. This is a great way to literally be in control of that. At times, like, oh, I'm running choice, I'm low on stock, I'm low in hand, I'm gonna put the last climax as my third trigger. That way, my next turn, I'll be free to pay it off. This is absolutely phenomenal. And it's on a level zero, run it in every deck. So like the example where I just gave out where you put your climax as the third card on the top of your deck, you can attack twice, pass, guarantee the cancel. This isn't bad like at all. You could also use this in your late game for exact damage. Because again, overswinging is the death of every Y Shores player. This is great. This card is phenomenal. It's a little steep ditch too, but if you're running it in choice, eh, you're fine. You're gonna be fine. Same with gold bar. Can't forget my gold bar players out there. Also, her art's kind of cute. All right, she's pretty cute in the art. I'm not gonna lie. She, she's looking kind of big. The final Marvel card is the strongest, smallest heroine, Wasp. On play from hand, mill two. If you mill the climax, you could ditch a card. Salvage a character, and on play from hand, ditch a climax, salvage a character. This is kind of like the Zoe from Ruby, which I did talk about, but it is slightly different. This is still pretty damn good, though. Like I mentioned with the Zoe, you only pay the cost if you hit the climax. I like this profile for sure. And there we have the first reveals of Marvel Comics and Why Shores. I like these effects, I genuinely do. The Hawkeye hurts me and the Doctor Strange is a nice laugh. And that is where we're gonna end today's video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Why Shores news and content. Let me know what you think about the Marvel cards in the comments below because I do read all the comments. Thank you again and I will see you all in the next one. All right, let's just get back up here. So, now that all the, um, are gone, let's talk about the real reason that we play Y Shores. Cute anime girls. Fuck yes. Project Sekai, Colorful Stage, featuring Dante from Devil May Cry. I did talk about the trial decks last week. We are getting a total of five, but now we have the booster pack information. The trial decks and the booster packs are going to be released on February 11th. There are going to be a total of 104 cards and we do not have the rarity breakdown just yet. 
there will be a total of five box topper PR cards. I am going to assume that it's going to be one of each group. Now, listen, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but as of now, and it's probably going to be the case, this set is not Neo Standard with Project Diva. If you want to play these Hatsune Miku cards, you're going to have to build a brand new deck. I'm sorry, 3-6 cancel. Over in the JP release, Decapo 3 Special Theater Booster Set is out. So let's look at those signed cards. Very nice. So this is a reprint set with five new cards added. All the cards have the actresses on the actual cards, which would be really nice if they did this style for other series. Bang Dream, please. Like I mentioned this in a previous video, but super quick, there are three cars per pack, six packs per box. So if you want to try and get the full set, good luck, my friends. There are also some PR cards that are only available if you attended the stage performance. There are also Overframe Rare cards, but those are given out when you purchase a box, and they are also given out with certain goods. It depends on the store that you purchase from, though. And if you're watching this... Now it's the last time. All, that's it. We're all done. It's too late to go to a performance now. The last day was today, and it just ended. Sorry. So if you want any of these cards, I do suggest you try to pick up a box or you could try to pick up the singles. But again, this is extremely limited. It's pretty damn hard to get like the PR cards as well. Even the overframe rare cards, especially the signed cards. Prices aren't cheap. I'll just let y'all know right now. It's not cheap. Again, day one prices. But again, there's a lot of factors going into it this might get a little more expensive later. So again, this is a reprint set. You do not need these cards to play Decapo. You can get the older Decapo cards instead of the newer ones, but... Our girl Mikoi Mitsasaki from Team Y is in the stage play, so I'm gonna need those cards. We support all the members of Team Y on this channel. Especially Aimi, but all the members as well. I don't play favorites, but I do play Aimi. <laughs> What does that mean? I'll cut that out. That's stupid. Staying in the Japanese news, the WGP Japan Finals are being held on November 20th, which by the time that this is out, it's already has happened. Hey all, Lunchbox from the future here. Yes, we've got the, uh, the final standings of the WGP. They're on the screen right now. 16 players, Sinful Gear with 6. Uh, Konosucho Quintuplets with 1, Data Live at 1, Mushoku Tensai at 3, which is actually kind of surprising. Assault Lily at 2, Kaguya at 2, Grisaya at 1. So the 4th place was Quintessential Quintuplets. Mushoku Tensai got 3rd, Kaguya-sama got 2nd, Sinful Gear got 1st. As of recording this, I have not uh, seen any of the deck lists, the winning deck lists. Follow me on Twitter, I will be retweeting them as soon as as they're available. All right, Lunchbox from the future out. We will talk about Love Live Superstars on next week's stream. So we're gonna go over some English news super quick and then we're gonna call it because we're on a roll. And I have to wash off the weird feeling of just like talking about like burly men on this channel. Speaking of the WGP, we are having our North American WGP as well. Head over to the heart of the cars to check where your WGP is being held. Just a heads up, there's not a lot. So for this year's WGP, which I think it is a great idea, they are doing it online and in person. So again, check the website. In California, where I'm from, Nova TCG, shout out to them, and Legends Comics and Gaming are hosting the online WGPs, and the in-person one is in Card Arena. Mask preferred and full vaccinations are required to attend the card arena one. Wear your mask in the shops, you dumb dums. Come on. So again, check the website, link in the description and in the comments below. So the finals are going to be January 8th and the 9th, 10 a.m. Eastern on Discord. There will also be a thousand dollars worth of prizes. Not a thousand dollars, all right? It's a thousand dollars worth of prizes. That would be a little better, but we can't all be flesh and blood. To the winner. Here is a note on the legal titles. Now, Ruby is not on the list because Ruby is not going to be released on time. It is coming out on the 17th and the latest date for the WGP is December 12th. So if you're joining the international WGP, 
good luck my friends now we are going to the quintessential quintuplets in english because it is currently out as of recording this i am getting my box on a later date i was actually supposed to go pick it up on friday but i fell asleep and i was not able to pick it up so master case ratios here we go. Case A will have one SSP and one Hanayome Rare and two SP cards. Case B will have one Hanayome Rare and three SP cards. So if your case has the SSP, that will replace one SP in your case. So if you bought a case, you're still gambling whether or not you get the SSP. And I know someone will say, oh, what's your source? A very trusty game store. Now stop asking questions. So again, good luck to everybody. Hopefully you pull the SSPs because they're pretty tough to get. Again, it's an SSP. It makes sense. It should be this hard to get. Also, on top of that, the ratios between the JP Quints and the English Quints are completely different. So there's also that aspect to it as well. But again, there's your master case ratios. And that is where we're going to end today's video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Wise Shores news and content. Happy Thanksgiving. If you're traveling, make sure you wear a mask and that you're fully vaccinated as well. Take care. See you all in the next one.